So it has got to the point where I cannot upload a video without there being a bunch of comments about my bioluminescent camo grind. So much so to the point where I cannot avoid it. So today we are finally back here on some zombies. Finally! I've got my large rucksack ready for the grind. For those of you that don't know, the only mastery camo that I don't have and most people don't have in this game is the bioluminescent camo right here. And if you don't know what it's for, it's for the Modern Warfare 2 weapons in zombies. And believe it or not, I've actually been making a bunch of progress behind the scenes. So in our last bioluminescent video, I unlocked Golden Ivory for all of the assault rifles and then got Spidal Husk. And then behind the scenes, I worked on all of the SMGs, got them all Golden Ivory apart from this one. And that's what we're going to be doing today, getting this Golden Ivory and then unlocking Spinal Husk for the SMGs. So stay tuned for that. But before we do, today's video is sponsored by the lovely people over at Acer with AMD. They were kind enough to send me out one of their Acer Nitro 16s to try out. And let me tell you, this thing is a beast. This powerful laptop is ready for all of your favorite games thanks to the Ryzen 7 7000 series processor and the super snappy NVIDIA RTX 4070 graphics card. Now this laptop in particular is packed with the AMD Ryzen 7 7735 HS processor designed to deliver incredible performance whilst remaining cool and quiet. This will help out a lot in Warzone Zombies regular multiplayer when working with the graphics card to maintain that high FPS. The newly refined chassis comes with a few extra tricks up its sleeve in the form of dual cooling, dual intakes top and bottom and a quad exhaust port design. And for extra control, you can pop open the Nitro Sense Utility app to get control of the fan speed, lighting and more. It features a four zone RGB keyboard and you can take control of the inner workings of the laptop via the dedicated Nitro Sense key. The WASD and arrow keys are also highlighted for easy visibility. You guys know I love to complete things fast, whether it's unlocking things, completing camo grinds and this laptop allows me to feel like I'm at my setup wherever I go and one of my favorite parts about it is the great screen. Everything looks better in QHD with AMD FreeSync Premium keeping those frames tight and in sync. The lightning quick 165 hertz refresh rate and the three millisecond response time guarantees your gaming sessions will be fluid, unbroken and unmatched. And as you can see it handles playing Warzone with maximum graphics extremely well which is exactly what you want wherever you are. And you guys can go check out the Acer Nitro 16 using the link in the description. If you want to play on the move, this is the way to go. A massive thank you to Acer with AMD for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. Okay, so let's apply our stuff to our P90 right here. I also have a Scorcher case that we can use to be able to travel around the map. Let me put this Pack-a-Punch 1 crystal on it as well. Use our perks. Thank you very much. And a golden armor plate. We are stacked. I have also got all of the challenges tracked here. So now we can see exactly what we need to do in game. And to start off, we need to get some mercenary kills. So I'm going to look for a contract. We can do this one right here to defend ground station. Get me in the sky. Here we go. Oh, it's literally right in front of me. <laughs> so I've been making a lot more progress on this grind recently. And what I will say is it does feel a lot more difficult than Interstellar. Not because of the reason you're thinking because you might be thinking yo brad the challenges for interstellar are way more difficult than they are for bioluminescent let's be honest and yeah you might be right the reason why bioluminescent is so difficult is because not only is it time consuming just like interstellar is but it's also extremely boring or tedious one of the two because there's times where i do enjoy zombies however a lot of the challenges for this are extremely repetitive but you have to do it in order to get the camo so it kind of is what it is all right now we begin in transmission and a bunch of mercenaries should spawn in which is what we need because we need to get a bunch of the kills we also need to get critical kills whilst we're at it which is exactly why i put deadshot daiquiri on by the way if you guys want to see me upload this series a lot more as i work towards bioluminescent please let me know i just want to know if you guys still enjoy seeing zombies at least whilst i work towards this camo you know get those guys out of here <laughs> deadshot daiquiri feels like having a butt literally look at this I don't even have to know where they are. Oh, the right shield ones are the problem. <laughs> I hate those guys. Come on, we need six more mercenary kills. And we've only got 20 seconds left of this contract. Is there going to be more? Oh, there is. There is. Come here. No, no, no. Is there not more? Oh, here they are. Bro! 
Oh, flip. My bad, brother. There we go. Okay, we got a self-revive kit. I needed that. We literally need two more mercenary kills. Oh, there's one. You're telling me you're leaving me with one mercenary kill that I need to get. Of course. How fantastic. Nice. Anyway, for the other challenges, we need to get 200 critical kills and also five kills without releasing the trigger 20 times, which isn't bad at all. And what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to go to an Outlast contract. And let's do this one. We're quite stacked, so we can literally do the orange zone quite easily right now. And I'm pretty sure more zombies spawn in the orange zone, so we should be able to get this done a lot quicker. Okay, I don't want to stay near this zone for very long. Please get me away. <laughs> oh man, it makes me upset that they're not really focused on zombies anymore. Just because I remember how fun this was when it first came out for the first few months, honestly. It's a shame, but it also makes sense because Treyarch have made this zombies and they also have to work on their game coming up later this year so i'm sure they just had to drop this and start working on their game and who knows maybe there'll be zombies in that one too that is absolutely amazing okay let's get this outlast contract and now let's skedaddle over to it <laughs> having this scorch makes everything so much easier okay here we go turn this on thank you very much our weapon literally has 400 yeah, bullets nice. so these kills without releasing the trigger should be uh one of the easiest challenges ever look at this i don't even know where zombies are but i don't have to let go <laughs> what is this so in my last bioluminescent video some of you guys told me to let the percentage get to 95 so that's what we're gonna try right here let it get to 95 and then get out and that should maximize the amount of zombies that spawn hopefully if you guys didn't lie to me oh there we go there's already 250 kills with it done oh yeah you guys were probably right so many zombies are spawning. I don't know if you guys are the same as me, but some of my favorite parts when playing Call of Duty with friends is the Easter eggs. And genuinely, I wish they would put more time into them. Don't get me wrong. They definitely add a bunch of Easter eggs into the game without a doubt. But I was just thinking back to Black Ops 2 zombies. And the reason why I was, was because Rebirth Island is coming back next week, or maybe this week when you guys are watching this video in a few days. And I was trying to think what the first version of Rebirth Island was in Call of Duty. And everyone thinks back to black ops 4 and having it as the resurgence map in that game in blackout but it was actually added in black ops 2 and i think it was actually in a campaign mission back in black ops 1 but forget about that it was added in black ops 2 as a zombies map mob of the dead i believe i could be wrong it might have been called something different either way rebirth island was a zombies map and that's how i was first introduced to it and i was just thinking about all of the easter eggs that you could do the warden like all of that type of stuff is so fun Ooh, there we go. We got the kills without releasing the trigger. Done. How easy was that? Now we need to get the critical kills out of the way. But yeah, I was just thinking about all of the legendary Easter eggs that we've had in Call of Duty. And for me, when I think back to certain games and certain maps, the thing that stands out to me is the Easter eggs. And I think that's the same thing for a lot of people. I'll be honest, especially for zombies. So it would be cool to see all of that again. Don't get me wrong. This, ooh, we got a 200 critical kills done for the membrane camo. Now we just need the one mercenary kill. I'm actually going to finish this contract just in case we get any pack-a-punch crystals that will help me in the future but anyway as i was saying this game does have some easter eggs don't get me wrong even in fortune's keep that had a bunch of easter eggs for sure even the big worm boss on this zombies is technically an easter egg because you have to get the usbs in order to start it properly that's cool man i just want them to do more stuff like that okay there we go what are you gonna but why? All right, there's a mercenary camp right here. So over here, we should be able to get one more mercenary kill. And that would mean... Oh. Why did it not let me pull my parachute? Thank God I had a self-revive there. I don't even trust using this anymore. I don't feel safe. <laughs> but yeah, we should be able to get this one mercenary kill. Who am I going to choose? There we go. Now do I have this done? Thank you. Ghoulish. We got a ghoulish camo unlocked. Oh, wait. The hell is coming into this extract point. No, 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 no. We need to get over here as fast as possible. Flip. The hell is flying in. It's about to land over there. And if we don't get there in time, that means we have to wait extra time. Come on, please. Send me in the sky. Heli, stay there, please. Usually, unless they hop in it, there's like a 30 second countdown. So. Oh, he's flying away. No, no. No! 
No, bro, what? Later. Okay, look, so we got the camo, so we should have golden ivory. There we go. And that was the final golden ivory camo that we needed for the SMGs. Now we can work on spinal husk, which is get 300 kills with whatever weapon whilst pack a punch, which is so annoying because I pretty much just did exactly that. And this is kind of what I mean when I say this gets extremely repetitive and tedious. Like I now have to get 300 kills whilst pack a punch, even though though I just did that. It's so annoying because Golden Ivory requires you to get a certain amount of kills, but then Xville in order to get it, which is the weirdest, most annoying thing. So it requires you to get out of the game before you can then work on the next camo. So you might have used all of your items, like your Packer Punch crystals, your Golden Armor Place and anything like that. And you could be ready to work on the next challenge. But that's unlucky though, because you have to Xville first. It doesn't really make any sense in my head, but it is what it is. Pick this up once again. Also, a bunch of you guys always ask me, yo, Brad, how have you not got Bioluminescent already? Surely you should have it by now. And I think the reason why people think that is because I typically get all of the other camos really quickly. The reason why I haven't got this one quickly is just because... I just haven't grinded it as much. Like I haven't really fully committed to getting this camo because you know, there's a bunch of other content that I want to make in the middle of doing this. When it's the start of a game, like with Interstellar camo or Orion camo and stuff like that, it's a little bit different. All I'm doing is literally grinding for that camo. But with this one, I'm also making a bunch of different types of content. So I can't really just fully focus on this. Okay, get me out before it completes it. Wow, 98% is crazy. Wow, I got scared for a second there because it wasn't tracking, but I tracked the wrong one. This one's for the PDSW, but I'm using the Fennec. <laughs> we still should be fine though. I'm pretty sure we can unlock Spinal Husk on this too. Get out of here. Bro, move! Bro, there's always a few of the zombies that are just so annoying. They just run 10 times quicker than all of the other zombies. It's like, bro, chill. I need to reload. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Reloading without speed cola is one of the worst experiences ever. Wait, what's going on? Why is that heli flying backwards? Huh? Oh, there it is. Spinal Husk unlocked. Thank you. Hold up. I'm actually going to complete this one too, just in case we get a pack of punch crystal. There we go. Come on. Give me something nice. Ah, come on, man. Really? You guys remember when zombies was completely broken? The servers were terrible. So if you were going in with rare items, it was really a gamble. The amount of times I thought, oh, this is the time where I want to use my pack a punch three crystal. I go in, the game lags out. I lose everything before I'm able to use it. It seems to have calmed down a little bit, but that might be because there's less people playing it now. Who knows? Wait, no, don't destroy that. What are you doing? Wait, can he destroy it? No, 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 no. Please tell me he can't. Okay, so now there we go. We unlocked Spinal Husk. So we can actually whack this on right here, as you guys can see. So this is the forged for the Zombies Modern Warfare 2 weapons. But yeah, man, that's enough Modern Warfare 3 for me today. I will have some more free time leading up to Season 3 coming in a few days. So we should have Arachnida fairly soon. We shouldn't be too far away from that. But yeah, man, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.